Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Halliard, the Dean of Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine, Arizona campus, and I'd like to welcome you to our virtual look into our campus. I know it's very difficult for all of you who are trying to make your mind up about where you might want to go to medical school, particularly when you can't see the campus. But we're hoping that the energy, enthusiasm, and passion that we have here on the Arizona campus for medical education will shine through and give you a good look into who we are. You can't go wrong with choosing Mayo Clinic as the place for your medical education. Whether it be our small class sizes, our dedicated faculty, or the over $650 million of expansion that we have planned for the Arizona campus, Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine Arizona campus is a wonderful place to have a medical school experience. So we look forward to the day when you can be with us in person, we hope that you will add our campus high up on your list of medical school choices. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Enjoy this special time in your life when you're beginning your path toward becoming a physician. And we welcome you to Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine, Arizona campus. I chose to come to Mayo because the students here seemed the happiest of all the schools I visited. They were able to go on trips to Sedona, to go skiing, to the Grand Canyon. I came to Mayo Clinic because I really felt like this was where I was meant to be. Uh, you know, I'm an Arizona native. My family's only an hour away, so being close to home was important for me. Aside from that, I have so many different interests and I felt like I could really explore all of them at Mayo. I chose to come to the Mayo Clinic because during my interview, I really enjoyed the atmosphere and all of the admin were super nice. I also really liked that it had a small class size so I knew I'd make good friends with my classmates and they gave me a really generous scholarship which helped with the decision. I chose to come to Mayo because I knew that medical school was going to be really hard and I wanted to be in a supportive environment that would make it easier and not more difficult to get through school. Um, I really like living in Scottsdale because I think that a lot of the minor inconveniences of life, like when I was living in Montana, the like ice on the roads and things are not present and so you have much more time to just spend with family and be very efficient with your time. Um, I really like living in Scottsdale. I'm from Wisconsin, so the weather is way better here. Um, I really enjoy that I have a pool in my apartment complex. Uh, the other students and I who live there can go to the pool at night any time of the year, that is incredible. Um, I really enjoy living five minutes from campus so I can come in at, um, for my anatomy labs. It's really easy. I can go home to see my puppy at lunch. And I just really enjoy the outdoor activities that are available here. What do we do for fun? So for example, last weekend we went up to Flagstaff, we went hiking, um, we went out to eat, we walked around downtown. I feel like it's nice because there's a lot of things that you can do in Phoenix, but there's also a lot of places that aren't that far away um, that kind of get you out of the city. Um, so that's nice to be able to go there on any given weekend. For fun, I really like doing outdoor things here. There are so many opportunities for hiking. Uh, short ones and also challenging ones that are a little bit further out. Lots of national parks and just beautiful places to see. But also just playing sports with my class. We usually get together on Saturday nights for basketball or volleyball and that is a highlight of my week. Selectives are great for two different reasons. Number one, they sort of break up the schedule so that you're not constantly feeling like you're sitting in lecture. And number two, they really bring a unique experience to your first two years of medical school. Selectives have been my favorite part of Mayo. Um, I love having that time to just check out from school and do what I wanna do. I've been to Rochester, I've done group selectives, which are really awesome. Uh, you get to meet students from the Rochester campus and also be in a new place with your classmates. I've also been able to just go home and volunteer at a local food bank. And what's awesome is Mayo will give you funding to do all of that so you can make a difference while also being taken care of. You know, I think at first it was difficult to really form a relationship since we were doing everything virtual but our faculty really made an effort to go above and beyond and go that extra mile. Uh, I'm particularly thinking about our uh, histology professor, Dr. Langley. When we were first meeting, she had us do little fun icebreakers in unique ways with Zoom. Like we would change our Zoom backgrounds to our favorite team or where we would wanna be, things that were just interesting about us so we could learn more about each other and she could learn more about us. 
Yeah, so my relationship with the faculty is very good. Honestly, the faculty here are incredibly amazing. You can honestly, even after they're done teaching you classes, you can go and ask them questions. I know one of the pulmonologists who taught my pulmonology class, I actually went to him a couple of times after um, class and during step two studying when I still wasn't getting some of the pulmonology con concepts and he really took the time to like help me learn those. Uh, one of the things I've really enjoyed is that I've been uh, part of the leadership for the regenerative medicine interest group and we've been able to interact with the Center for Regenerative Medicine at Mayo which is you know, a pioneer in that field. So one thing that I've been working on and kind of a unique opportunity through Mayo is the uh, Science Healthcare Delivery Master's degree. So Mayo Clinic has a partnership with ASU where we're able to pursue this degree while we're in med school so it doesn't add any extra time to your training here. And for me especially, that was something that was super interesting because um, I'm interested in some work with like underserved communities and specifically looking at health and healthcare challenges for um, immigrant children who are coming from Central America to the United States. I'm a representative for Mayo to the Arizona Medical Society. Um, so I'm part of the medical student section and bring concerns back and forth from the ARMA to uh, Mayo and vice versa. So I'm currently in anatomy, which is widely regarded as one of the most challenging blocks for first year students. Um, so for us, it looks like class uh, is a Zoom lecture from eight to nine, and then the next uh, five to six hours are broken up in the lab. And so our lab schedule looks a little bit different now, but we spend uh, between an hour and two hours in the lab per person. And then you go back to the lab after everyone's completed their rotation to review, to complete your dissection. Um, and then you pretty much spend the rest of the evening studying. Um, most people, I think, are studying at home right now, so we aren't usually in the school. Um, that's just because of COVID, but it's pretty much wake up, school, study, uh, take an hour for yourself here or there, and then repeat the next day. So I just started my second year at Mayo, and usually in the mornings I'll have advanced doctoring sessions, which is when I learn how to interact with patients, take their history, do a physical exam, and then present my findings to uh, an attending. And then I'll have lunch, then in the afternoon we have our lectures, uh, which are all virtual now due to COVID. Um, and then sometimes after lectures, we'll have small group sessions where we break up into small groups of like five or six students, and we have um, very small collaborative group interacting with faculty. Um, and right now we just started our pulmonology block, and so far it's been great. And then after the classes are over, I'll usually study, um, have dinner, and then rest for a little bit, get recharged for the next day. All right, so a day in my life right now, so I'm in the surgery rotation. So I wake up every morning um, between 4 and 4.30, and I try to get one workout in before I have to go into the hospital. I intentionally chose to live close enough that I could bike into the hospital, so I do that in the mornings, try to get a little more exercise in. I arrive at the hospital, round on my patients. Um, we have table rounds at like 6.45, so then I will present the patients that I'm following to the uh, chief resident that I'm working with. Then we kind of run the list of all the patients that are on our service, um, look at the cases for the day, and that kind of dictates what my schedule is for that day. I'm usually leaving the hospital between 5 and 7 at night. Um, I'll bike back home, try to get a little food in me, uh, do another little workout with my wife. We usually try to stagger those who so are working at the same time in the evening, and then kind of come back and chill for the rest of the evening. For me, my favorite part about Mayo is the students. I really feel like I've developed long lasting relationships with all my peers and feel a lot of these will go way beyond the four years that I'm here. My favorite part about Mayo is the people. I've said this already, but I just really love getting to be here. The faculty and my classmates and the people I've met in the grades above us as well are just really, really incredible people. My favorite thing about being here at Mayo Clinic is the sense of family that I have being here. You know, it's not just uh, a class, we're not just students, but we're really part of a family. Um, when I first came here, the students in SNMA really reached out to me, uh, and two of them are actually my roommates now, and they're upperclassmen, and they, uh, they give me a lot of information about how I should study, things I should focus on, um, but they also check in on me and take care of me.